I don't think you really are ever prepared for what you hear. There was one evening when one of the boys I was hosting, he had accidentally scratched my husband, just innocently trying to hop on his back. You could tell immediately that he felt horrible and he was crying and I just, you know, consoled him and made him feel it was okay. I, I know it was an accident, he didn't mean to do it. And he took my hands and he started trying to make me punch him. And my husband's like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit you. The boy said, well, my dad used to punch me and I would have bloody noses. So when we got out of the car, I just surrounded him with love <laughs> and support. And I remember um, when he was going to bed, it was a hard night for him to go to bed because it triggered a lot of his abuse. Just that, that moment kind of opened my eyes to what we were, the bigger picture and what's going on maybe in some of these kids' homes. Any kind of positive influence we can make was really what made this program special. From that moment on, I thought, gosh, this is powerful. <laughs> this, is, this is really making a difference. To, to see someone like me or other dads that are not threatening and we play and we joke around with them. It, it just shows them that not all situations are like what they came from. So fortunately I've been able to host the same boys again, the same family. I've hosted their younger um, sibling and it's time has made such a difference and the program has made all the difference in the world. The boys are happy they still have, you know, they're working through their issues, but they feel loved, they feel supported. I feel they're stronger and more confident. And that is the goal. And this was a success for the family. And I'm grateful for that experience. Just watching not only the amount of people needed, but what you actually mean to them when they come into your house. Teach me a little bit about what's right and wrong. Um, and I don't think they have that at their house. It's so impactful. The amount of people who don't know about it, I can only imagine when people start hearing more and more about it, how much more we'll be able to provide for children. People ask us all the time, you know, who's this little guy you have with you? And, you know, it gives you an opportunity to explain. That's kind of where we're at right now with, with not only us, but all the other families and all of Crest and just trying to get the word out. There's a number of ways to help. You know, hosting is one of the things. You know, people cook meals. I mean, they bring groceries, gift cards, money, just anything. It all helps. It's really good. It, it is It is hard. It really it hurts my heart when I think of all the children out there and how um, there's really not enough people doing what we're doing to really um, to help everyone. But I also feel that just helping the one family can make a huge difference. And just giving a child even a day or two or a week or a month um, with that loving support can make a difference. And I've, I've witnessed it through hosting families on my own and to see the improvement that um, being with the kids makes. So you open up your arms and say, I've, I've got a home, I have love and support and I'll take them in.